On the 29th of September 2021, a rolling 80s crip affiliate, 16-year-old Nas Roller, real name Nazaya Sanchez, who had allegedly mocked the deceased YG's member Rajiz in a Facebook post, was standing on a busy street with another man on East 187th Street near Prospect Avenue, just across the street from where J-Rip had been killed. In the middle of the day at 12.50pm, two men jumped out of a Honda Accord, opening fire, shooting him in the head and chest. Nas would lay in the street surrounded by shocked members of the public and emergency medical staff who would desperately try and save his life. But they were sadly unsuccessful, with Nas later passing away in St. Barnabas Hospital. But to make things worse, this incredibly tragic scene was recorded by members of the public and posted to social media, showing the awful extent of this brazen attack in front of dozens of members of the public, a clip that's once again way too raw to show you here. This was a truly disturbing scene, and much like other stories I've covered surrounding Chicago Drill, where brazen assassins would kill ops in broad daylight, one of the sadder and overlooked consequences of this is that dozens of members of the public are forced to witness these heinous crimes, being left traumatized in the process, driving home just how little care there is for human life and the welfare of others when it comes to these deadly gang wars. After Nas passed away, k -Flot would pay tribute to his fallen friend. However, his enemies would be less caring, with some people circulating Nas's earlier post, mocking the fact that Rajiz can no longer answer the phone, suggesting that Nas also now can't answer the phone. d Thang and other YGs would go on to mock Nas on social media following the news. We smoke it, Nas! Yo! <laughs> with D-Thang even going as far to make a post suggesting that Nas had been sacrificed, with others making posts tributing Rajiz, and in case this wasn't obvious enough already, this really isn't anything to glorify. We've got teenagers on both sides celebrating the deaths of 16-year-old kids. The cycle just never seems to end. One minute you've got one side mocking the death of Rajiz, while others are mourning him, and with only a few months those who were mocking Ra are mourning Nas, and vice versa. It really is a vicious cycle with no winners. And at this point in the story, the one person with the best chance of making it out of this alive is K Flock with his success in music truly being the golden ticket out of this dangerous environment. However, as we'd soon find out, even with his record deal, the fame and the money that comes with it, he would remain far too close to the streets even with his newfound success, ultimately putting himself in a compromised situation that could lead to him losing everything.